Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. Good morning. It's raining, guys. Sad. It's still really beautiful. Good morning or afternoon. What time is it? She's hovering. Oh, she cupped it. We are about to get pizza from two different places and then go to Yale's campus. Hopefully, it stops raining. I can see how you feel like that. I I love this. I wash it my it's mouth. Literally, it tastes like mouthwash. This tastes like mouthwash. I love Press it. brand also. You know, like, yeah, I love it. Mm. I'm addicted to it. It's a little weird, but do you like mint things? Like mint chocolate? Like mint? No, he's not a mint. I'll chew gum. I don't like like mint chocolate chip really. You know the Andes brand chocolate? I would like buy a whole box of Andes. Oh, you're the, you're one of those? So good, guys. Love it. Thoughts? Um, I really like the veggie pizza. The veggie, okay. I thought the clam had too much garlic, but it was so good. Yeah, no, it was really good. I really like the crust. I personally read it. Okay, I don't really like pizza, mm. but I read it like I read it with the veggie like seven. The clam was eight to eight and a half. Okay, hey, I rate the veggie pizza like. 7.5 because it was good but it's like I can taste it anywhere else clam was really good I love the garlic um, I would rate it and it wasn't too like fishy or like weird so I'd rate it like eight and a half okay we're going to modern next super excited it's a 30 minute walk but we can digest this pizza Clam and veggies again. I like this place better. Really? Yeah, it's not as crispy, but it's more flavorful. Okay. And the clams are more textured. There's less garlic, too. So. I wish they had like this flavor on that crust. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. Because I, th I think I still like the other one better. Just because of this little just soggy for me. I think I like the other place better. Right. But these clams are better. They're like more meaty yeah. and less garlic. Yeah. With the clams and this are. <laughs> I already felt it. Wait, I love that. 
So what's the verdict? I like the clam pizza here the best out of all of the Clam pizza. So what do you rate it? The clam pizza here was like an eight, and the veggie pizza was like a five. Ooh. Yeah, I'd probably Not give great. the clam like a seven and the veggie a five. So I think I prefer peppers. But we finished. <laughs> So we went to a free bookstore and we're now walking to the Yale campus slash urban. <laughs> Hopefully they'll let me pick up my order. Because Jenny really needs to pee so we asked some Yale students to let us inside the building. And it's so nice, I want to go here. Even though I'm not a college student anymore, it's sad. Hey guys, we're doing the Trader Joe's taste test of caramel. Cheers, everyone. This is quite hard, guys. You all should try it out with your families. These are the... These are the rules. <laughs> So we went to this bookstore with free books. So Bridge got two. Thanks. I got Everybody Else is Perfect by Gabrielle Korn, How I Survive Hypocrisy, Beauty, Clicks, and Likes. And I got this book because I actually wanted this book. Yeah, explain. It's this girl who is like a journalist from Brooklyn who talks about like the digital age and talks about like <laughs> feminism <laughs> and fashion. Ooh, okay. And yeah, I've been really loving these types of books where mm -hmm. like people are talking about their memoirs. Like I got really like inspired by the first book I read. Um, the one that I'm talking about her name is Glennon Doyle and um, have you heard of her? Mm -hmm. um, so I read a book by her called Untamed and like I was really like inspired by her book so I wanted to find more books like that where she's just talking about her life and like how like feminism in society plays out and then I got this book called A Stranger in This World it's like a short story collection from this author called Kevin Campy I've never heard of this book I like the cover it says the oh so it's like a collection of stories mm -hmm, but it's just told by one person Anthony got a lot of books yeah I got four books they just looked interesting so I got them can I see? Yeah. What's the first one? One of them is called When Work Disappears, The World of the New Urban Poor. I just kind of rated the sociology and the history section. Okay. There's another one called Making Race a Nation. Again, kind of social sociology comparative. US yeah, it's something that you would Africa. like. Oh, South Africa and Brazil. And then another one called Social Revolutions in the Modern World. Again, looked interesting. Yeah. I'm glad that this place is near Yale, so they had a lot of these oh yeah true and then i got a cookbook by joyce chen who's like an og like cookbook author who, like, brought oh really to the US. Yeah, cool so, pretty rad oh. i'm excited huh i want to see yeah joyce chen cookbook i just i feel like it'd be cool to have Ooh, i love the illustrations here so yeah i'm excited msg oh Going to the train station to bus back to New York. 
It was a great trip. We're back in New York and we're Ricky from Ricky. I'm so excited. She said it. <laughs> I'm so craving Korean food. No offense, Tony, but all your white food is not it. Tony, did you hear that? The real question is is he subscribed to my channel? <laughs> he acts like he is. But it's I cute. know. He's a fake friend. Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand you. Hi. <laughs> I know how you feel about all this Christmas business. Okay, so, public service announcement. As I told you yesterday in my vlog, I'm going to be doing a tea opening. And since it's Vlogmas Day 2, I'm going to just put in a clip of me drinking some tea. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry for, like, the break and flow, but... This is my setup and obviously I can't have this up um, on my fridge because it blocks the door, but that's fine. Okay, so day one is here. It is the Puka Feel New Organic. Okay, so I took the tea out. Herbs to help you feel like new for mornings after the night before. Well... I'm just gonna have it at night because I don't know if I have time in the morning to film and I don't really drink tea in the morning although that's kind of weird because I chose a tea advent calendar but I feel like drinking some tea right now so yeah I mean there's no caffeine okay I'm gonna boil my water that happens to me every year about the feel new tea it is kind of like a detox tea it has aniseed fennel cardamom yeah it helps with digestion um anti-inflammatory purposes so like indigestion like stuff like that yeah this one is actually pretty good i don't mind it apparently you're supposed to have it in the morning like after a crazy night i guess but let's plan for tomorrow I'm gonna write down my plan for tomorrow. I have class from 10, 15 to 45. That's on Zoom. I'm probably gonna wake up kind of late. At one, I have therapy. Yeah, so ends around two. I'm gonna probably put some makeup on before I go to the library and study. Mm -hmm. 